Welcome to a review of this Indesit Prestige Line 822. Um, it has an amazing 5kg drum, considering that this is 1985. Not exactly sure, but this came out in 1985, late 1985. You can always correct me if I'm wrong. 1985, um, and I do know that they were sold to at least 87 because um, a family friend of ours had one from 1987 until the spider snapped in 2004 so um that's not this one but it is the same model if that makes sense so yeah uh but this came from another collector i had it stored for quite a while not using it didn't want to see it really start rotting anytime soon so he decided to sell it and i bought it i bought it so i can reminisce a bit and Reminisce, um, I've really enjoyed actually actually having it in here. Um, quite surprised really because the thing was um, with this you got no instructions written out on the uh, draw or on the display or anything like that. So it's a bit of guesswork trying to guess what each program does. If you had the 600 spin model um, that was also out, that had a spin drain feature on it. So, um, it had a single dial with all the program, and because it had just two options, on and off and something else, uh, on and off and I think half load, there was room for all the programs to be written out here. However, this doesn't have that, so it's been a bit of guesswork trying to guess what each program does. But I finally worked out what each program does. So, we'll go on to that in a minute. Now I can never understand this, what this line is for within the body. Now is this to make it more rigid? And it's not just this machine, there's a few other brands um, around this time that also did this. So maybe it's just to make it more rigid. Uh, we've also got our drain um, filter at the bottom. Oh, it's been taped up because the uh, flap it's just completely loose. Uh, I didn't do that, so it was um, done in a previous life. Right. See them there? They light up. Uh, the on off one, of course, is slightly dimmer than the rest, but it's still pretty bright considering it's now 37 years old. Now, we've got the entire thing is controlled by a variable temperature, and we know the thermostat works because it clicks. Currently at 30-ish, so 40, 60, 80, and then maximum. Now, all of this had tape over it. I managed to get most of it off, but it was really, really old tape. I have no idea why the person in the past, I'm not talking about our collector, because he, he didn't do it, but uh, the, its previous life, um, they put it over, and I don't know why, it's weird. Um, I can only guess, despite there's no markers on it or anything like that, um, that stop confusing people. It will just have a marker set somewhere, like, and it was just like, oh, I'll just leave it there, kind of thing. That's the only thing I can think of, because it was directly over the temperature gauge. We don't know why, but unfortunately, yeah, I've had to stop because it has started to take some of the paint off, and I was like, we better stop. Right, um, the dial. Now we've got 14 programs on this one. But if you have one with only a single dial, you get 17 programs. And that is because, of course, um, they have to give you a cotton 60 and 40, um, as well as um, a synthetics uh, 50 and 40 programs. So, program one, which is about there. Let's just do it. Oh, I'm just going to pass one. Program one is cottons with a pre wash which is available way up to 90 degrees. And then program two is Cotton's Long Wash. Um, considering it's long, it's still very long at 90 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's not long at all. It's your, it's your regular main wash, basically. Sorry, main wash, rinses and spin. And obviously not with a pre-wash at the start. Up to 90 degrees. Uh, there, on this, it will stop 
and will uh, heat to uh, 40 first and then the timer activates and then it will uh, periodically advance. Yeah. Uh, program three is cotton uh, short wash. Um, max temperature of 40 degrees. If you set it any higher than 40 degrees, it's likely to not hit anywhere above around 40-ish due to the timer. Program four is cold wash with the little cold symbol there. And it is a cold cotton's wash. Basically fills, timer activates immediately and events. Um, so program three is around 50 minutes long. The cold wash is around 40 minutes long. 43 minutes long to be precise. Program five is cotton rinses and final spin. Program six is cotton final spin at 800 RPM. Yeah, that is really, really slow, but uh, it was pretty average back in the day. Um, this was a basically a not dead low entry level machine, but um, it would have been the common one that everybody bought. Um, the I think. Now, again, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure I've seen a price somewhere of £189 or £199. So it was still about 50 quid cheaper than the equivalent hot point at the time. Or Hoover. Now I'll see stop. Then program 7. This is synthetics, um, or white nylon, or delicates at up to 60 degrees. Again, time will, um, if you go beyond 60, it may go a little bit over 60, but it will basically time out on you. Same thing, it will sort of heat to 40 first and start advancing. Uh, program eight is uh, synthetics at cold wash. Uh, synthetics, normal is 45 minutes. Synthetics cold, is just uh, 20 minutes long, roughly, um, depending on what pressure, for example. Now, I ran this with nothing in, and it took 19 minutes, but during a wash race, it took 23 minutes. So, uh, and that's because it was filling two machines up, you know, both of these machines were filling in water. So, it did affect it a little bit. Program nine um, is synthetics rinses. Um, well, synthetics rinses, that's it. Um, the synthetics rinses just fill, um, wash for a little bit, drain, and then it'll do carry on like that. However, the I'll go with a, bit, a little bit more in detail in a minute. Uh, so, program 10 is special treatments like fabric softeners for your synthetics. You can also use it for cottons as well if you wanted to. Then it'll stop. Then program 11 is drain only. It will drain for about two minutes for advancement to stop again. Um, however, program 10 is supposed to automatically advance to stop, rinse hold. However, only once this has happened so far, and I'm trying to work out what made it do it, but after I ran the cold wash with nothing in it, it actually, I don't know if it accidentally did it, but I had half load engaged. Now half load does nothing on synthetics. More about, about that in a minute. Synthetics. And it seems to advance from the stop. It's like it over advanced and then accidentally landed on 11. But it's only ever happened once. Program 12 is wool up to 40 degrees. Um, then program 13 is wool rinses. And program 14 is a short slow spin up to 400 rpm. Why am I saying up to 400 rpm? It is at 400 rpm. Then stop. Now, program 1, 2, 3, 4 cottons will wash with a uh, the lower water level up to the door, uh, door seal here. Um, program 5, when it goes to rinses, it will rinse with a high water level. It will do 400 RPM intermediate spins as well. If you select the half low button on cottons, which it won't work on the synthetics at all, or the wardens, 
Um, what this will do will lower the rinse, the higher water level from here. Sorry, back down to the lower wash level. And we've got program six. Obviously, it spins at 800 RPM. If you set the 400 RPM button, it will just spin at 400. They, it goes through a phase of distributing, two minutes roughly at 400, two, and then four minutes roughly at 800. If you set the 400, it will just knock it back down to 400 uh, for six minutes, basically. Uh, program seven, the options don't work. Uh, same with eight, and same with wall program as well. The pro these options don't work. So, right, another thing. Oh, that's quite interesting. Right, another thing. Um, trying to line up this dial is really hard. It doesn't click into place. So, and also, if you put it on the number, it's always one out. You sort of got to advance it. Yeah. So that is a slight mark after the norm, the number. Right, door handle is here to open the door, pull on it, um, and it opens up. Drum inside, we've got three blue paddles. The holes are rather big, and if you notice, this is the old innocent drum pattern. Right, quite impressed with this. You see, Hotpoint need to take note back in 1986, and they didn't. Um, so they decided, I know, we're going to use plastic clips. Nope, Insect use metal clips to hold the door glass in place. And it's really nice to see how simple um, design it is. It is literally a piece of plastic, you know, um, that's held together with six points of metal. Um, and you just unscrew them to take it off or whatever. That's really good. And unlike the hot points, they last as well. Normally, fills with water. Um, there was accidentally put on the rinse to demonstrate a spin, <laughs> and uh, very quickly filled up with water that way. But no, it doesn't fill up water. Right. This is our siphon in here that just lifts up. Uh, but interestingly, it's got this bit, it's actually like made for this siphon to go over. Bit unusual, but it works. Yeah, let's put our drill back in, we kind of have to lean it up a bit like that, then smack it over. Hey. Uh, no different than this to the modern insects. Right, so we've got our pre-wash section there, our main wash section. For all our detergent. So, and then for optional fabric softener, that goes into here. Um, I think this marker here represents the uh, max level. Directly with hot on all the cotton cycles, and uh, the cars for tension is select. However, because the hot valve broke and I only got a cold feed to all the machines, the converters using a modern two uh, two way valve. A modern the converter using a modern twin valve. Um, so now it fills up with cold on the main wash uh, instead of hot. 
because I was calling the ministers and using the same valve. So we only one cold feed in. But I can one shoot. Another interesting thing as well with the upper 1200 model that you can could also have, it's got a heavy soil button. And all that would do was change it from filling the hot to filling the cold.
Mmm. Ooh, that smells good. Ah, oh, yes. Now, right, what's to give this out of 10 then? Well, um, the cycles are quick. Um, like I said, 90 minutes for a full cotton cycle, not bad. Uh, 50 minutes for program 3, which is also cotton 40 on the other machines. Uh, that's really good. And bear in mind, this is all being heated from cold water. Really good. Um, the spin, 800 spin, is could be better. And I think it's down to the holes in the drum, rather than the fact that obviously it's only it's running for 4 minutes. Because 4 minutes isn't bad. But 800 spin, yeah, it's the holes in the drum, I'm pretty convinced about that, um, that's making the spin performance poor. More aligned with a hot point than with anything else from that era. A Hoover would have done a lot better with 800 spin. <clears throat> Wash results. Um, uh, the rinsing uh, wise is great because it does four deep rinses. The fabric softener rinse is fine. Um, but washing ability, it's a bit poor with heavy soil. If you've got heavy soil stuff, yeah, you're not going to get good results. For normal soil stuff, it's fine. So, unfortunately, I've got a bit of a downer with the indices. Now, I actually kind of, I really do like it. Um, it's a really nice basic machine, but the timer could be better. Now, come on, Hotpoint um, will allow you to properly select a program. This it's just like the Philco um, I reviewed not long ago. Bear in mind that Philco was a lot new, a bit newer than this. But the timer doesn't sit into place into anything, and there's no resistance. In fact, there's no resistance even for because you get this. You've got the uh, little um, diverter that connects to the uh, timer. And normally, on any machine that has this diverter, normally when you're going round, there is actually a bit of resistance before that diverter changes. I.e. if it's going towards the pre-wash or the main wash or the fabric softener. However, there isn't on this. So even if you want to select pre-wash, it's hard to get it directly on, even with the resistance, because there is no resistance. Of that diverter. Hmm. Um, so, what does it get then out of 10? Um, surprisingly reliable, but brushes did burn out on these, um, as you would expect. Um, not bad. Um, however, it is better than the Hot Point 95s. Um, by one. I'm going to give it 5 out of 10 because the washing performance is pretty poor. Um, you compare this to a Zanussi also from the same time area and you're going to get a lot better results with Zanussi. Mm. Yeah, it's one of them. It's a mm. so close. Um, do I love it? Yeah, it's got a lot of nostalgia and I do like it. It's got a character to a lot more character than other machines. Um, I like the motor noise, it's very unique, um, just like the GEC motor. So, yeah, um, short cycles but not exceptionally well washing results, a uh, bit anemic poor spin result for the spin, and I don't like that time at all. Uh, the other thing is the draw. Um, it's actually quite small for the time. Um, yeah, you can't get much powder in it uh, or fabric softener to be fair as well. Um, and this is a five kilogram machine, apparently a 11 pounder. However, this is the smallest drum of the entire lot from the 80s. How is it five kilo? Yeah, but I don't know, five or maybe six. Uh, push. Six out of ten. Mm, not sure. You decide. 